We're here with Bob and his son Josh. Why don't you guys tell us a little bit about you guys' operation here? Well, uh, this operation is about nine years old. Uh, we built it uh, with one robot to start, uh, milking about 55, 60 cows. And uh, then about three years ago, we added another robot, doubled the size, uh, milking about uh, 95 to 100 cows. And uh, here we are today. Right on. I see your barns are kind of like in a triangular shape. I've never seen that before, pretty cool. Yeah, so this is actually, a, uh, originally was a chicken barn. And oh. we've got the uh, pipeline that runs, runs parallel with it. So we were kind of restricted when building uh, this dairy here with the property line, a ditch and then the pipeline. So we ended up uh, buttoning it up together at the end and it works really well because we feed inside and uh, never have to go outside for any of that. So it's nice staying dry. Right on. So this is, a, this is a bit of a heifer barn, close-up barn. Um, our close-ups are in this pen. We bring them home from off-site um, about three weeks before um, for a close-up, get them on a different ration. And then we also have a few just a uh, bit of TLC packs over there just for a few heifers that uh, just need a little extra love. Right on. Yeah, so we just got our three bunkers, all uh, all corn. Um, then we feed uh, round bales, mostly just first cut in winter wheat. Um, make all our feed at the beginning of the year, and then kind of can cruise along for the rest of the year. So it's pretty it's pretty simple. Uh, just pull out the equipment twice a year usually, and try and keep it as simple and uh, consistent as possible for the feeding. Right on. So you got your feed wagon back here too? Yeah, so that's like I was saying earlier, never have to go outside except for corn. So it's uh, it's pretty pretty nice, especially with all the rain we get out here, yep. feeding under cover. That's cool. So you got some pipes or? Yeah, so that's our, our sup bin, comes from outside and then our weigh, weigh tank comes right here. And so it's, everything's about as easy and simple as possible. Right on. Yeah, you got some commodity bays up at the top of this barn too, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, yeah. everything's Canola nice and, and inside. So this is the main milking barn. We've got around 99 stalls, and I think right now we're milking about 95 cows. Originally it was just the one robot, and then about three years ago we added the second one, the V300s. Um, and yeah, we got manure pits under the barn, alley scrapers, and uh, pretty simple two robot barn. Okay. Uh, yeah. So do you have one V300 and one of the older models? No, we replaced our original uh, one when we uh, did the swap. We just thought it works better, a lot better together. Okay. Um, and then we just kind of go new and uh, they're, they're pretty amazing with the, the attachment speed and the, the stall time. It really cut down from the original one. Right on. And you said the manure pit is underneath the barn? Yeah, so it's underneath, underneath the uh, alleyways and the stalls um, up into the original part. So it's nice and simple contained, especially when land is what it is out here. It's yep. nice to have a small footprint. That's cool. I've never seen a, a pit underneath the barn and not being a slatted floor or so. Yeah, so we got, originally we had two uh, drop slots at each end, but then once we added the uh, additional 50 feet, we just used the, uh, the one end now and it's just a one-way screen. Right on.
So this front section here, kind of the front 50 feet, is the addition where we added the uh, second box, and then we've got a TLC pen right across the back, uh, as well as pasture for in the nicer weather when they need a little extra love. Oh, that's cool. You let the cows go out then? Yeah, yeah. We usually bring home a few dry cows too in the summer, and then, uh, like I said, the bigger cows or you know little sore cows, they can get out there too. Right on. Was the free the prep and the uh, wash I find it does a quite a superior job in our opinion um, with the wash cups instead of the brushes and that was one of the bigger reasons we went with it. Right on. Now the start of this cycle, the teats are just getting cleaned off. Does it strip a bit of milk out as well? Or? It does, yeah. Yep. So it free strips them, washes them, and then and then dries them, and uh, and then they're they're ready to be milked. Right on. Well, Josh, thanks for the tour. You bet. It's great to have you. You guys got an awesome operation out here. Thank you. Till next time. Have a good one.